Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome to my channel. Thank you uh, to all my new subscribers and thank you to my returning subscribers. Appreciate each and every one of you. I hope that you guys are all having a very, very blessed day today um, with our circumstances. I know that it's been very hard um, to go day to day. I know it has for myself if I'm being 100% honest. Um, I've had good days and not good days. Days of feeling lonely even though I have my husband and my kids and days of feeling sad because of not being able to socialize with family and friends and all of that. So yeah, uh, today I am back with a new video for you guys. I recently became part of a collab group and I am in a small uh, beauty community group all over, overall all together. And what I mean by that is that um, there is a lot of um, smaller YouTubers um, that have come together and have become friends and have collaborated on videos or have done different projects together. You know, everybody all mixed in. But we're all pretty much friends for the most part. Um, we all support one another. We're all um, subscribe to one another's channels and all of that. We have a small little community with a bunch, a bunch of awesome, awesome ladies. And there's so many to name, so I won't do that. But if you want to know who they are, you can check my list of people I'm subscribed to because I am subscribed to every single one of them and support every single one of them. Um, but in this video today, this is a smaller group, Faye from Faye Blatcher here on YouTube and Jennifer Miller, which is Amethyst Winters. They put um, this group together and I'm part of it, which I'm super excited and thankful for. And there's seven other ladies that are a part of it besides myself as well. And we just come together once a month. Maybe you'll see us a couple times a month. It just depends. And we are going to be doing different collabs and things like that. We did one last month. I think it was the Green Envy. And um, the only one that was missing from that was um, Chanel and Nat. Nat had prior engagements. And I think um, Chanel came to the group after we had initially did that collab which we're super excited to have her. All of the ladies are so, so great. Um, so yeah, uh, we are doing our second collab together in general. And our first one, like I said, was a March uh, St. Patrick's Green Envy. If you haven't seen that video, I will definitely link it in the description down below. And I will also try to put it up in the cards. Um, if you haven't seen my video or any of the ladies' videos, they will be linked in that video as well. So definitely check them out. It was super fun and everybody just did awesome, awesome looks. So yeah, so today is our second collab video with the eight of us. And this time we are doing a great collab idea from Nat, who on here is Little Miss Nat on YouTube. And she is so, so sweet. And she's so, there. everybody is just so awesome. Even ladies that are outside of this uh, little collab group that we have, that I said that are in the small beauty community that we all support, besides these ladies that will be participating in this video, are all awesome, awesome people, awesome ladies. And I'm just so thankful to know each and every one of them. And also for this little group that Faye and Jennifer have put together. So... Um, I will make sure to link everybody down in the description. There's eight of us total, like I said. So there's myself. Um, I told you there's, um, Nat, who is Miss, Little Miss Nat. Um, and then you have <coughs> Jennifer Miller, who is Amethyst Winters here on YouTube. You have Faye Blatcher. Um, and then you also have Desi from Desi's Corner. We also have Chanel. Chanel is Embrace Your Beauty with Chanel here on YouTube. Um, and then like, and then we have Teresa, who is Teresa N83. Um, Beth from um, Little Betsy underscore 79. They're all just awesome, awesome ladies. I'm so thankful to know them and to know everyone here on YouTube um, that I've been super blessed to know. And um, yeah, so Nat came up with a great, great idea for this collab video. Before we go ahead and get started with the video, um, I'm gonna let you know real quick what is on my face. 
So again, today I did use the Makeup Revolution Stick Foundation because as you guys know, I've said in previous videos, I am trying to finish that up. I'm getting very, very close. Just use my Maybelline Loose Powder, which I'm almost done with. If you guys have seen a recent video that uh, Beth did and Brie from Pink Purple Red, and then Beth from Little Betsy underscore 79, they did a collab um, just the other day, and it was using the Graveyard um, Girl Swamp Queen palette. <laughs> and I watched their videos and they just encouraged me to pull mine out. So that is what's on my face today. I did this look. Uh, I used the Sweet Tea Bronzer, but I have to go in very, very lightly because it's very, very muddy and red. Um, I have the blush on as well as the highlighter. And then just in case you don't know what this palette looks like, this is what it looks like here. It's a beautiful palette. <laughs> and they just reminded me how beautiful it was and I seen their videos and I was like I'm gonna go ahead and pull mine out because I haven't used it in years at least two years or so so anyways today I put in natural peaches in the crease and then I went in with haunting um in the lower part of the crease I went with uncommon all over the lid and then I took man cat on the outer parts of the eye as well as my lower lash line and then I used Big Baby on the brow uh, bone as well as um, an all over color before I did anything else. I do love this palette very, very much. Um, thank you, Brie and Beth, for doing that collab and helping me to remember how great this palette actually is. The lips, I'm finishing up this lip liner side of this Tarte Romantic uh, Architect lipstick. Uh, it's a lipstick and a pencil. I've already finished the lipstick side. I'm almost done with the pencil. So I put that on and then I took the old Kate Rimmel number 45 lipstick right there. It's like that mauve tone. And then I topped it off. That's another project um, I'm trying to do. And then I topped it off with the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick and Patina. You guys know this is a panning project as well. Um, this is one of the oldest uh, liquid lipsticks in my collection um, and when I was putting it on today I could smell where it's starting to get a little bit like yucky smelling so it's pretty much almost done there's a little more I'm sure I can get out but I may have to depending on how much longer um, I have it for I may have to um, just put it in my empties uh, because it is starting to smell a little bit bad and that is everything on my face today. Um, I really loved the way everything came out and really happy about pulling that palette back out. So with all that being said, um, the purpose of this video today is Nat came up with a great idea and she said, um, why don't we find makeup items in our collection that have the same names? So basically this is a collab with same name makeup items. I found a good amount. So I have them right behind me on my desk and I'll just pull them as I go. So the first things that I found is the word Rosie. So I have this BH Cosmetics Waterproof Lip Liner in Rosie. Right there. These are very creamy, very affordable. <laughs> and then I found um, in this Dose of Colors Marvelous Mauves palette, it looks like that. I got this in a BoxyCharm some time back. I found the color uh, Rosy as well. That is going to be this shade right here. Sorry about the mirror. That is that shade, the second shade here. I'm just going to see if I can swatch it for you guys. It's like a muted purple. And when you swatch it, it doesn't come up very, very nice. I mean, very, very bright, but very pretty nonetheless. Hopefully you can see there is the swatch right there. It's not very, when you swatch it, pigmented. And then there is the lip liner. So very pretty. Though That is the first uh, ones I found. So that is rosy. I'm so excited to see what the other ladies found um, and see what items they have. Now, next one is the word latte latte i found that in the tart toasted palette i'm sure you guys are familiar that's what it looks like 
and it is right here <coughs> it is this like just a matte brown shade it's very very pretty and then I found the um, latte shade in the uh, Beauty Creations Espresso Yourself palette this is the palette And let me swatch that shade for you. This one is very muted. It's like a, just like a really soft tone of latte. Those are the two side by side. See, it's just kind of a base shade. And then there is the other latte. So that is the second one that I found. Third one is Rose Quartz, the ABH Sultry Palette. It's really funny that, I mean, she came up with a good, good idea. I would have never thought that things would have the same names, but so there is Rose Quartz right there. Very pretty, pretty shade from Anastasia. And then Makeup Revolution Loose Highlighter. Looks like that. I have showed you guys this on my channel and it's also Rose Quartz as well. a beautiful shade so those are the the two there look how pretty that one is and this is like a shimmer very very nice those are rose quartz I have to tell you guys it was a lot of work to find these but very very nice to do very fun to do definitely once I started doing it I was like hmm, this isn't that bad but once getting started was the hard part okay um, I have outspoken and let me just pull the rest so I don't have to keep coming back. Um, the Outspoken is in the prof uh, two Profusion palettes, um, but they are two different palettes from Profusion. The first one is the Profusion Mixed Metals Peach. It has matte and metallic sh shadows. And the Outspoken is this one right here. It's like an orange muddy color. <coughs> like a pretty, like a reddish brown, red tone brown. And then the other outspoken, it is also in a profusion. This is an older palette, it's falling apart, but this is called Sienna's. So I figured because they were the same brand, but not the same palettes that it would still count. So you guys let me know, ladies um, that are in this collab, whether or not that does count, Nat, you would know. And Either way, it's okay. They are two different shades though. So this is from the Sienna's palette and then that is the Outspoken from the Metals. So this one is definitely richer and deeper. Very, very pretty, very pigmented. I am a huge fan of Profusion, you guys know that. Um, I will have a video coming soon on that new palette I got from them for Valentine's Day that I picked from my husband. I'll have to see what I think about that palette. Okay, next we have Petal, which is, I have a BH Cosmetics lip liner, same kind, waterproof, and Petal. It's a very soft baby pink. And then we have a Becca lipstick and petal absolute favorite shades I love I told you guys before I love Becca lipsticks and that is what they look like very very different but very pretty nonetheless all right and next we have polite and we have it again in the mixed metal um, palette Polite is just your base. Um, it's that Profusion palette, the same one that I uh, had earlier. For the other, this is just your base shade for the lid. And then it's also in this one as well. And they are similar in shade, um, I will say. I will say the one in the Sienna's palette is a little bit more on the wider side versus the Mixed Metals has a little bit of a pinkier tone. 
you can see them right there. I know these aren't the best swatches, but they're pretty similar. Um, like I said, one has just a little bit more of a pinky tone than the other. Okay, now moving on. I don't have a ton more. Um, I looked through all of my collection, which I'm so thankful I didn't, I don't have, I have a big collection, but compared to some, I'm thankful because it would have been a long time. All right, so the next one I have is chocolate, and I have that here in this uh, Kai palette, which is from Target. Um, and then I also have it in the Too Faced Highlighter Ice Cream palette. So chocolate is right here. It's like a shimmer goldish brown, I would say. It's very, very pretty. And then we have chocolate in the Too Faced palette, the highlighter uh, palette right here. And of course, it's this more deeper shade. Um, that is a highlighter, which I thought when I bought this palette that that was a bronzer, like a shimmer bronzer, but it's not. And that is what those two look like. So there's chocolate there, and then that is the highlighter chocolate right there. Next we have uh, Macchiato, which is also in this big Kai palette here. Um, and that is this shade here. It's like a pretty uh, shimmer burgundy, I would say. Very, very pretty, very buttery. And then we have um, it also in the Espresso Yourself palette, which looks like that from Beauty Creations. And that is Macchiato, and that is this one. It is more of a brown toned. Sorry about the glare, guys. I'm trying to get it to where, see, it's just like, it looks like a deep brown, but it does have shimmer. And it is very, very buttery. Wow, that's a beautiful shade. Those are the two together. It's these two right here, Macchiato and Macchiato. So this is more of a, a burgundy versus a brown. Very pretty. That, I had never swatched that shadow on that Beauty Creations, and it's so buttery. So, so buttery. Okay, moving on. We just have a few more. Um, so we have French Vanilla, which is in this same palette here, again. Had a lot of luck with it. Um, so we have French Vanilla, which is... Where are you? It's a red toned right there. It's like a burgundy reddish tone. Can you see? Really, really pretty. This is a really nice palette. This one French Vanilla, I have to say, is not as creamy and buttery as the Macchiato was a moment ago. I'm having to really press in there, so I don't know if I need to scrape like the top part off or whatever, but not that great. And then I have the French Vanilla and the Ace Butte uh, glimmer shadow. This is something that I received, I think, in an Ipsy or Boxy charm. I cannot remember. And it's also in French Vanilla. And these have the consistency of like the ColourPop shadows, but I wouldn't say they're as creamy. I haven't actually got to play with these on the eyes yet. I do need to do that soon. They're so different in color. You see how pretty those are? One's a red, to red tone and the other's a silver. Definitely different colors, um, different textures as well. Moving on, we have pumpkin spice. Everything's turning out to be like a coffee drink or something. Um, so we have pumpkin spice in the Essence palette. One that I've used on my channel and you guys know that I love, the Spice Up Your Life. Um, that one is will be this shade right here. And we will swatch that for you as well. It's a very pretty shade. They're very buttery. A little chalky, but buttery, but nice. And then we have um, this, and this one again, Espresso Yourself from Beauty Creations. Pumpkin Spice is right here. It's like a really pretty goldish brown. This one is also very buttery. Wow, that's just one swipe. Can you see those two? Pumpkin spice and pumpkin spice. This would be really pretty to put this down first and then put that all over the lid 
because it's a shimmer and this is a matte. I'm gonna have to try that. Okay, and then we have two more. Cinnamon, <coughs> which is in this big Kai palette right here. And let me find that shade. That is this one. My dogs always wanna bark when I'm filming a video. Right there, it's like a uh, tan color. And you know, this is a, this was such an awesome, I have to thank Nat because, um, I have to tell you thank you Nat because this was an awesome way to look at your products and really see what you have, what you haven't grabbed in a while and all of that. So I'm really happy that you came up with this awesome idea and I really did enjoy it. Okay, and then we're gonna go to Cinnamon which is in the Violet Voss palette and the Essentials Violet Voss right there. You guys are familiar. I got this from a BoxyCharm and then we're going to put that right next to it. It's a very pretty brown. So right here I have cinnamon from the Kai palette and then cinnamon from the Violet Voss and I need to pull this one more too. I know it's a little bit newer in my collection but it is a good palette and I forgot about that. And they have some really beautiful shades in there that I would love to play in. You guys know that I've been loving, loving to play in a lot of color lately and even deeper shades. Okay, last one we have is Twinkle and that is in the ColourPop Dream Street palette, the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. Um, it is Twinkle and then we have the Amused Press Pigment. So Twinkle is this one here. It's just like a matte brown right there. And I forget about this. This is one of my um, older palettes as well. This is the Amuse uh, Cosmetics Twinkle um, Cream Shadow. Almost has the same consistency as the ColourPop. Pretty similar, I would say more so than the other one I just showed you. That is what that looks like right there. Look how beautiful. This was a dollar. I can't wait to put it on the eyes. I think I used it one time. And again, those are Twinkle. So you have the Twinkle there and then Twinkle there. Look how pretty that is. Very, very nice. I really, really like that. So I think overall, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 different items that had 13 different names, basically, that I found had the same name tag. So I think I forgot one, though. Let me see. Actually, I did forget one. Um, but that's included in the 13. I just missed it on the list here. So actually, Pearl is another one. And that was in the ABH Sultry palette here. <laughs> and that's this color, very pretty um, shimmery shadow right there. And then I also had it in the Milani highlighter palette, this one right here. And it is this shade right here. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to swatch those for you real quick. That is the Milani on the right and on the left is uh, the Sultry from, um, from the ABH. Look at that. That's one swatch from Milani. That is absolutely beautiful. So, so beautiful. So I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, Again, Nat, I think that you came up with such an awesome, awesome idea. It was so much fun. Like I said in the beginning, it was a little overwhelming not knowing where to start. But once you start, it's so much fun to see and go through every single... I literally went through every single item in my collection and wrote down every name, what it was, and um, and then just kind of backtracked from there. And so, yeah, it was, it was um, you know, time-consuming to find, but it was great to... See, and that's where I was able to pull some more pro um, items to pan because I noticed that I haven't used this in a long time or I haven't used this in a oh, this is pretty old and all of that. So great idea, Nat. I'm so glad that you came up with this idea. Again, it was super fun. Um, 
and I'm very surprised to see how much I have found that had the same name tag. Um, so yeah, again, I will leave all of the ladies down in the description bar below. Please don't forget to check out each of their videos and see what items they found. Definitely check out their channels if you are not already subscribed to get them. Most of you probably are, but if you're not, please go over and support each and every one of them. They definitely deserve it, um, and you will love their content. Um, I know I do myself, and I support each and every one of them. So yeah, guys, I thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. Um, I hope that you're trying to make the most of your time and trying to just stay busy, especially those with kids. I've experienced it as well. My kids have um, just kind of, they've done really well and then um, they've kind of, the last couple of days have had a little bit rough. So we had been planning a grocery uh, trip for a week now <clears throat> and we normally leave them um, but we went about 25 to 30 minutes out of our town um, to a smaller location where it wouldn't be so packed and wouldn't be so many people and also it's a county that um, has lower I think one or two maybe three or three now at this point I think as of yesterday three that have been infected with um, the coronavirus in that county that they know of so yeah my husband um was like let's just take a little drive and we'll go out there and we let the kids come this time we woke them up super 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 early uh definitely not a time they're used to and it was so crazy how they got up and got themselves together and were so excited about going to get groceries um just to get out the house because they haven't been out the house and um so yeah just trying to myself appreciate those little things they honestly acted as though we were going somewhere so so fun or going on a trip like when we would go take our uh, drives to Dallas or that's how they acted as, as though we were doing but we really weren't we were just going to the grocery store but nonetheless they enjoyed it um, just to see them smile and then be able to pick things that they wanted you know to have at the house and all of that was truly a blessing. I'm thankful and grateful to even be able to get, you know, the things that they want and the things we need. So yeah, guys, I just hope that this video um, brings some joy to you and a smile on your face. Again, great idea, Nat. Um, I think that it was really, really good and really fun. I can't wait to see what all you ladies have found in your collections. And so yeah, um, please don't forget to uh, go over check their videos out again and if you're not subscribed please subscribe and also to my channel if you're not um please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you enjoyed this i would love for you to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the bell for your notifications if you'd like to be notified every time i upload a video please if you do go over if you are one of my subscribers please go over and let them know in the comments that you came over from my channel i would really really appreciate it um, just so they know that people from my channel are supporting them as well. Just, ladies, I can't wait to see your videos. Thank you so much again, Jennifer and Faye, for allowing me to be part of this collab with such awesome ladies. Um, I'm so thankful for every single one of you guys, for all of your friendships, and I can't wait to our next video. Guys, this is going to complete this video for today. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.